Hey there, welcome to the A Macintosh channel. Really quickly gonna show you this delivery. I've just got this from DA Components. So, as usual, comes with a little packet of sweets. That's good. And uh, in particular, I want to show you this. This is the Alpha Scrubber. And it's on a swivel, like that. And also an adjustable gooseneck. This has a rinse bar, so the water is always cascading over the top. And these really nice thick pads. Uh, I've got the whole box of them here. Also with a spare Velcro, which is really nice. And it's even come with a little freebie white pad here as well. I'm here at the same job that I did last time, the glass balustrade along by the water. So I thought I'd use it in the same place so you can make a direct comparison. Uh, you can see how I get on with this one. Uh, this has got a Euro thread on it. So if this will fit on my gardener pole in exactly the same way, I've got a Euro thread attachment on my gardener pole. Or if you wanted to, you can just unscrew, you can unscrew the gooseneck. And swap that over. The other thing is it's not such a nice day as it was last time, but we'll see how we get on anyway. So yeah, let's give it a whirl. see those guys who do the promotional videos on YouTube for GoPro and they're always in some beautiful location with some hot babe they're taking photos of on some beach or some cliff edge with a beautiful view or something and sometimes I think here I am in damp rainy old Britain cleaning windows with my GoPro well you know what who would want to change places with them, eh? Look at this. There we go that's the alpha scrubber how about that really cool little uh, little tool to have actually what's nice about this is it's really nice quality it's really nicely made and you can see that straight away the other nice thing is it's got a nice swivel which you can actually tighten and loosen um, depending on how much you want it to swivel or not these pads are quite hard wearing as well there's a, it's come with a good supply of pads, so obviously they don't last forever. A bit like the gardener tool I was using, the through pad holder, that pad didn't last very long at all. And um, this is the one I was using on the glass by the water there. And again, a similar kind of thing happening where one edge is starting to separate from the other. But having said that, it has lasted longer than the gardener ones when you're bashing around the fittings trying to trying to get in around the fittings i think that's partly um what gives the pad a hard time really is, is getting around those bits and it gets a great result as well um really nice slightly different with the rinse bar i don't usually like rinse bars for cleaning windows um, when you're trying to get in around the edges around the frame the rinse bar ends up just bashing on the brickwork around around the window and so it's getting in the way more than anything really 
this and the kind of jobs I've been doing with this actually works quite nicely. Um, even though a lot of the time I was kind of using it upside down, it's not an over the top rinse bar then, it's an, it's an underneath rinse bar. But uh, it was working fine and uh, the rinse is more of a kind of soft rinse not like when you're using pencil jets you can give it a good blast so turn up the power a little bit on on the pump and um, make sure you get a nice rinse but actually i have to say i really enjoyed using that rinse bar um, in those kind of situations i found the rinse bar actually was really really quite good so i like that so yeah decent the thing is with these white pads they're softer they're kind of softer than some of the other abrasive pads out there. So it's not gonna damage the glass in any way. If grit or something gets on the pad, that could be what scratches the glass. So I find, you know, if you're doing a lot of bird's mess or something and there's a bit of grit in the bird's mess that ends up lodged on the pad, that could be a danger. That's what's gonna scratch the glass, if anything. If you're doing a builder's clean and there's cement Sometimes you get cement splashed on the glass. I never, never use any kind of scrub pad on cement because you just loosen the grit of the cement and then it scratches the glass straight away. So it's always best to use a scraper on something like that. So yeah, what I love about this is in situations where the water-fed pole brush is just not quite got that scrub power that you need or you want. So situations like this those glass balustrades conservatory roof uh did a conservatory roof that's actually done quite regularly but because the glass is facing up a bit like skylights same kind of thing dirt just sits on that glass because it's facing up so i've been using it on some skylights i've even got a solar panel job coming up and i was thinking of using it for that so those kind of things can just be a bit dirtier than regular glass regular windows so those kind of situations I find are ideal for, for this and a uh, brilliant little tool. And um, the white pad here, which I also got from DA Components. Now, similar sort of thing. It's going to be a bit softer and apparently you can use this on leaded windows and it's not going to damage the lead. I'll be using that on my Maker handy sleeve here. So that'll work on there. And also for the handy sleeve, I've got these new Python pads really cool for uh, traditional window cleaning to use it as an applicator or you could use it for drying off plastics so that's a really neat little accessory to have as well the great thing about da components is they do all these little accessories and tools that you can't get anywhere else in the uk so i really recommend go and check out da components for all these little bits and pieces i believe da components are just starting to do some of the larger sizes of these python pads as well so thanks for watching for now hope you've enjoyed it hope you found it useful so take care and i'll catch up with you guys very soon thanks for watching